Hello there, this is the Bookkeeper Master on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to post supplier invoices to QuickBooks Online. Supplier invoices or purchase invoices. Go to the purchase ledger and go to the supplier list by going to the expenses page and then the suppliers sub page. Click on the supplier that you wish to post the invoice to. If the supplier is not showing, you may need to add the supplier by using the new supplier button at the top here. Click on the supplier you need, then go to the top right here, click on new transaction, and then click on bill. If it's a credit note, you can use the supplier credit option. If you've been following this tutorial, you'll notice that this is almost identical to raising or posting sales invoices on the sales ledger. It's all set out like this purposely just to make the software a lot more user friendly and straightforward. So just go to new transaction, click on bill, and then you can enter the details of the invoice. Once again, we have like an invoice template. All you need to do is fill in the details. So the invoice date, the due date of the invoice, the nominal code you wish to post the invoice to. So let's say this was for stationary. So I just put STA in and it brings up the account automatically. Print in postage and stationary expenses. Let's click on that. The description, putting what it was for. Let's just put in paper and pens. I'm just making this up. Put the amount in. Let's say it's £55. The VAT, 20%. There is a drop down list and you can choose. If you're not VAT registered and you haven't chosen to enable VAT, then there probably won't be a VAT column here. But if there is, you can just use the zero or the no VAT option. So you can enter that there. And once you're happy, all you need to do is click save and close. That will take you back to the supplier account. If you click save and new, then you have the option to add another invoice. So if you've got a, a group of invoices to post to QuickBooks, then the save and new option might be better. You can then just choose your supplier again, put another invoice on, click save and new, and just continue. But like I said, if you click save and close, then you'll be taken back to this screen the supplier account, and you can see the invoice that we added is showing here. Let's just add another one, just so it's clear in your mind. So let's add another one. This one's a bit older, let's say the 18th. And this time it was for, let's say it's for some sort of lease, equipment leasing. Put whatever the description is, put the amount in, the VAT if needed, and then click save and close and the invoice will show on their account. I will show you how to record payments to suppliers later on in this tutorial. We just need to add the bank account first and I'll show you how to do that shortly. In the next video, I'll show you how to record credit notes to supplier accounts and then we'll move on to the banking side of QuickBooks Online. Thank you for watching the videos up to this point. If they are helpful, please like. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. All of my QuickBooks Online videos are listed on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. I think the website's better to navigate and find the video you want and follow this tutorial than YouTube is. That's just my personal observation. Um, so it might be worth checking out the website and finding the videos on there. Thank you for watching. Speak to you again shortly.